Good morning Internet, uh, this is Super Ricarderick here and I'm just going to do a little tutorial about using uh, a little program called Audio Hijack Pro. Audio Hijack Pro allows you to um, hijack um, music uh, and uh, any sort of sounds uh, from uh, any source really and what I'm going to do is show you how to use Safari to record music and also then at the end I'll show you how you can set up Firefox. So first thing we're going to do is going to show you how to um, actually get the program itself. So what we're going to do is going to go down here and load up Safari. And uh, I've got this set up for Google as my uh, startup page. And we're just going to go in here and start typing Audio Hijack. And as you can see, it's given me some options there. And I've got Audio Hijack Pro, which has come up. So we're just going to click on that. And we get a list of sites where we can download that program. First one up here, Rogue Amoeba is actually the company that um, sells it so what we're going to do is we're going to click on there and I've got the window already set up for you and we'll get to their home page here okay on the top of the page here you can see we've got a free download here it gives us the latest version of Audio Hijack Pro 2.96 and as you can see this is a free download it's a trial which gives us um, the ability to hijack a sound source for up to 10 minutes after that um, it will stop um, and please, you know, as you see there, you can purchase a license for $32, which is roughly about 20 something pounds uh, over here in the UK. So what we're going to do is just going to click on there, and as you can see, it automatically sets up and starts to download that program. Uh, there we can see what we're getting, about uh, 500k a second. It's about 6.3 meg, so it's not a big download. And uh, we'll just wait for that to uh, finish. Should have done that earlier won't take too long and that should disappear now we'll just clear those and what we'll do is we'll go down here and we look at our downloads and we can see there's Audio Hijack Pro and if we click on that that should uh, unarchive I'm just going to move Safari over here so we can just have a few more windows open on the screen and that should unarchive and then what we're going to do is actually then as you can see there it's opened up we've got Audio Hijack Pro here and what we can do is then just drag that across into our applications folder and uh, for the purpose of this, we'll do is just close that window down. I've already got this installed. It's in my applications. And uh, where is it? There it is up here. And what we can do is just drag the icon down onto the um, dashboard ready for use. So what we're going to do is now just run uh, Audio Hijack Pro here. OK, as it starts up, you can see we've got uh, it's gone straight away to Safari here. Um, application type Safari and we've got various settings we can uh, go into uh, schedule and the recording one which is the one that I tend to have up on the window here. Okay, as you can see it's got a default uh, folder here which is to your music and then audio hijack well, we can change that if we want as you can see you can change the name format of the file that it downloads here it's of it uh, uh, defaults to name that means the name of the program so it will be Safari and then the date and time and then all we need to do here is just set this up into record mode now what we're going to do is just um, show you how to use maybe YouTube here um, to uh, record music so I've got a track here it's by uh, I'm going to use the Jamie Cullum don't stop the music track here so what we're going to do is we can change the, uh, the um, options on here, the format to internet low, uh, spoken word, streaming music. For me I'm going to keep it on internet distribution and high mode here. Okay, which you can see is an MP3 128k uh, kilobytes, which is uh, you know, good quality. So what we're going to do is set up a record and we're going to click on record. Now just be bear in mind sometimes when you do this it may ask to restart Safari. That's not a problem because if your Safari is running in uh, as mine does sometimes 64 bit it requires it to run in 32 bit. So we'll just click on record and in fact it hasn't asked. But if it does ask just restart the program. OK, and all we're going to do is just going to click on the video choice here, and I'm just going to choose this one here. Now, be mindful of the fact that a lot of these YouTube videos, when you click and um, go onto it, it will start straight away. So what we need to do is just make sure that we've got record set up here first before we then go on to the video. And what we're going to do is just click, and there we go, and it should start playing. And as we can see up here, the track starts a recording. 
Okay, for the purposes of uh, this exercise, I'm not going to record the whole track. Um, just one thing to note is that uh, it doesn't automatically stop when the music track finishes. So you just need to keep an eye on the track itself. And when it does finish, you automatically then click on the uh, record button again, and that will stop it recording. As you can see, it stopped here. And we'll just stop it on the, um, on the video now for the moment. Okay, so now what we need to do is just have a look at that track. So let's open up our uh, hard drive here and we'll go to um, under my details and it saves it into music and then audio hijack. And if we look down the bottom here we can see this is the track that's just been that small section there. It's called Safari, today's date and then the time it was recorded and it just puts the .mp3 on the end there. And all we're going to do now is just uh, change that. And this is the only way that I found at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm sure people will post and show me different ways. But what we do is the way I change this is just right click on that and we just go to Git Info. And our Git Info window opens up here. And we've got a name and extension here. And all we would then do is I just highlight <coughs> and then just start typing. So we'll just call this Don't Stop the Music. And then hit Return. And there we've got our track now. It's been renamed to Don't Stop the Music. And as you can see, the size here is 340k. It's not the full track. And in fact, I recorded this beforehand. It comes out at 3.6 meg here. So it's a nice, easy way of just recording. And you can then play that in whichever music player you want. Okay, well, Safari is the program that I use. But um, what if, and we'll just drop this down, what if um, you are a Firefox user? Well, it's quite easy to set that up. Down the bottom here, we've got a little plus and minus sign here. So all we're going to do is just add a new program um, to uh, this audio hijack pro um, to set it up to record from that program. So we're going to click on the plus sign here, and it just comes up here, select a source, and we've got an input up here. And you can see it's just source type application, select a source. Well, we've got Firefox already installed, so all we're going to do is go select and recent application Firefox, and we just click on that. And really, that's as simple as it is, because all the other details we can leave um, as normal to their defaults. And then all we would do here is just start Firefox. We'll just move all the hijack over there. No, we don't want it as our default browser. We'll click on here. There's uh, Don't Stop the Music. And we'll just do a search on that. And we get the Rihanna's version up here. And again, if we just set Audio Hijack to Record, in fact, there, there's an example where it says Quit and Relaunch. So we'll just do that. Now again, this is where things that you wanted to work don't work. And what we'll do is we'll click on her version. And with a bit of luck, that should just start coming up. And as we can see up on top on Audio Hijack Pro up here, we've got the little bars, it's recording. So whatever's going on, all the input from this program is being recorded into that. And again, just for the purposes here, what we'll do is we'll just stop Audio Hijack Pro by clicking record again. We'll just put a pause here on here. And just to show, the file format there we've got Firefox now so it just shows Firefox today's date and time and again we can use the same format there for uh, uh, um, for renaming I right click get info and then just change that to the name of the track you want um, you can do this for any recordings uh, anything off the uh, either Safari you can set up uh, Google Chrome or any other browser in the same format as you can see defaults got other defaults about DVD player, iChat, iTunes, QuickTime but uh, this is just a nice way of grabbing some songs and some music uh, bear in mind um, these songs uh, are out there and if you do like the song I would uh, highly recommend that you actually go and buy the track as opposed to um, uh, downloading them and storing them in this format Anyway, thanks very much. My name's Super Richard, Super Ricardo Rick, and um, that's my little guide on using Audio Hijack.